Hey folks, Chris Brannick here for the Oklahoman and NewsOK.com in the studio today. Uh, joined again, of course, by Jimmy Nielsen, head coach of Energy FC. Jimmy, how you doing today? Doing well, thank you. Good. Uh, a little better result uh, coming off a Friday matchup with Austin, a 2-2 draw on the road. Uh, obviously, not the result you wanted, uh, but why don't you start off telling us a little bit about the match? Well, first of all, it was a better result, yes, and it was a way better performance over 90 minutes. I think the, the guys did everything they, they could, uh, worked extremely hard, moments we played very well. Uh, in my opinion, we created enough chances to win the game. A um, little unlucky with conceding two easy goals. Uh, you know, we came up one nothing after Danny Koenig solo run from from halfway line, and uh, you know, we only kept that lead for a few minutes. Then we gave away a very easy goal. <coughs> Excuse me. And a few minutes later, another easy goal to to give up, and you know, then we were back where. We were the following game, and uh, we had to chase. And uh, I think the guys put on an uh, incredible performance. And I think, again, we created enough chances to, to win the game. But when we score with three minutes left, you know, we're standing and being okay with, with one point. You know, I think the results were okay and the performance were good. Yeah, so Danny Kona gets a goal <coughs> early in the match. It's the. Uh, fourth time in five matches that you guys get a first half goal and and you guys have jumped out and uh, ahead in a few of those matches so so what does that say about your team to, to they're coming out ready to play and, and how are these guys coming out and getting these no, first we're, goals we're coming out strong yeah, i agree on that and and, and score some some early goals and that's where we have to be be better to take advantage of that momentum and not slow down the the speed At that moment you've got to keep stepping on the gas pedal and and, and keep going uh, but we gave up a very, very easy goal, you know, poor defending and uh, second goal, yes, poor goalkeeping and uh, that's, you know, it's tough to, to give up so easy goals. I actually think during the game we defended very, very well. Uh, we didn't give up any, any chances. Actually, Austin only had two shots on, on goal and that's the two goals to score. And, uh, you know, we hit the post and uh, unlucky in a, in a few other situations. But uh, again, I, I, I couldn't ask for more. You know, they, they gave everything they had and uh, uh, we were a little unlucky in a few situations. Yeah, and so down 2-1 at halftime in most of the second half. Uh, but once again, for the we, we talked about the third time this season, uh, you get a goal in the last in the last minutes. Kyle Gregg gets a header to equalize. Uh, and, and get you to come away with a draw. So, so just like scoring first or scoring in the first mm -hmm. half, you're also getting good at scoring in the end. So, yeah. so what led to that goal, and what's helped your team kind of come up with this? Well, what led to that goal, you know, was hard work in second half. Uh, second half, my personal opinion, we were completely dominating. Uh, a lot of possession on on their half. We had two or three very very good chances to score earlier. Uh, we made a few substitutes in, in second half and. Uh, Harris, who just came on the field 30 seconds before, he had a great left-footed cross in, in the box and a fantastic header by, by Kyle Gregg, who, who came on 10 minutes before that. And, uh, you know, we were very, very happy that we got that goal. But again, I'm, I'm a little greedy, you know. I, I think we should, uh, get, we, we should have gotten a little bit more out of the, the performance we had. But uh, I take one point. Yeah, so you get a point out of the deal. We talked about this. Earlier in the season, you you drew on the road with Tulsa, and so here's a couple of road matches. You, you're you're almost uh, a quarter done with your season uh, already, and you've got a couple of at least one point on the road. So is that something you can tell your guys to keep as a positive? Yeah, we beat Colorado away, uh, where we scored the last minute. Uh, you know, we only lost one game, and that was at home. Uh, probably, with all the respect for St. Louis, the worst team we played so far. And uh, well, we spoke about that last week. That was. Uh, that's still annoying that defeat, but I think we bounced back, and I saw a very, very good reaction from from the guys against uh, Austin. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with their performance, but again, okay, okay result. Yeah. So you shift focus now, uh, and you haven't actually because you played on a Friday night, one extra day to prepare mm -hmm. for a team that finally your opponent that you're familiar with. LA Galaxy two will be here on Saturday, a team you played four times last year. Uh, and so you know something about I think these we're, guys. We're very familiar with their style of play, not so much who they're coming with. You know, LA2, how many players are the first team taken or not? 
we'll see when we get here Saturday what, what kind of guys they're, they're bringing. Uh, uh, LA Galaxy found a good rhythm right now, uh, had three good results and with three wins in the last three games. And uh, yesterday when they played Vancouver, you know, Galaxy is a little different uh, than the two other teams. We just played St. Louis and, and Austin, who's a very physical and hardworking teams. Uh, Galaxy, uh, a little more Californian style, uh, like to play and keep the ball on the ground. And they're very, very good at it. And uh, what well, we can hope, hopefully there'll be some changes in, in their lineup again. And, and that will kill the rhythm a little bit. So a team, the uh, Galaxy 2, of course, an MLS-owned club, uh, and you might not know, like you said, who they're going to send with you. So does that make it harder to prepare for a match against the team? Well, we know their style of play. Uh, that's most important. And, and they have a few individual players we have to keep an eye on. You know, Mendola, who has been a fantastic player for, for LA Galaxy over the last two seasons, and, and he's sniffing around the first team. He was on the bench the, the day before with the first team. But got called back to, to LA2 the day after. He's a, he's a game changer for, for LA Galaxy. And of course, we've got to keep an eye on, on he's on the roster or not. Yeah. Now, they were, I was, you said they won three in a row. They started out uh, with, with zero wins in the first four matches. They had a tie and three losses. So, does that, the way they have this big momentum coming into Oklahoma City, how do you think that your team needs to maybe halt that momentum and, and to get no, a victory? Uh, again, we, we should come with confidence too. We should. I think uh, the performance we put out uh, Friday in, in Austin is uh, is acceptable, and if we can put that performance out consistently, you know, the luck will, will go our way too with the, with the post and the and, and the changes we're missing. We're creating not enough changes to win. Can we put our performance consistently like that? We'll get a lot of points. All right. And so uh, with with LA, you you know their style, whether or not you know their players, who they're bringing. Uh, you, you're a big on playing your style of your style of soccer, and so is is that something that you, this week in practice? How are you gonna How are you gonna approach things? Well, we already started a little bit today. You know, LA Galaxy is is good on possession, and when we have a uh, lock uh, LA Gal Galaxy in, in the in the corners, you know, it's very very important we finish the job because they can switch the point of attack very very well, and they're very very good at it, and that's their key. You know, their possession. They're good to make the field big, and we have to defend the whole field. And that's where we've got to be smart and, and pick the right areas to, to do the, our pressure. Can you say today, uh, we got a few days before the match, but can you say today that Danny Koenig's going to score another goal Saturday? No, I don't want to start jinxing anything. You know, I've not said that before any of the, the other games. Uh, but, you know, he's been consistently strong. Uh, I don't think it's only the goals. You know, his work ethic for, for the team is uh, very, very important. And, and him and Chewy got a fantastic relationship, and it's just getting better and better week after week. And we've got to be careful with getting those two all the credit alone. You know, they need to be served from the, from the guys behind. And, and I think we, we're finding those two guys in, in danger spots, and that's what makes them so good right now. And, and Danny Koenig, he's only been in America for just a short time. And so how do you feel he's adapted to this style of soccer from what he's well, used to? He's naturally a very, very hardworking player. Uh, he can play very, very good games without scoring goals because of his work ethic. He's a 100% team player, and uh, I think he, he's adapt, adapted extremely well to, to America. You know, he got his family over here, wife and two kids, and they're just enjoying themselves, and uh, they're on a little adventure right now. Yeah. All right, so again, uh, Oklahoma City Energy FC will take on LA Galaxy 2, a Saturday night at Taft Stadium, a 7 p.m. kickoff. Jimmy, thanks for joining us today. My pleasure.